Hi friends and welcome to your daily devotional for Saturday, July 11th, 2020. Happy weekend. As we prepare to read scripture and be in prayer today, I invite you to pay attention once again to what is going on around you, to the distractions both around and within. Where do you need focus? Where do you need to pay attention today? As we prepare to be in God's presence, ask God for that focus and attention. We begin today by turning to Psalm 119, and we'll be reading verses 105 through 112. And this reading and all of the readings today come from the Common English Bible. Listen now for God's word to us. Your word is a lamp before my feet and a light for my journey. I have sworn and I fully mean it. I will keep your righteous rules. I have been suffering so much. Lord, make me live again according to your promises. Please, Lord, accept my spontaneous gift of praise. Teach me your rules. Though my life is constantly in danger, I won't forget your instruction. Though the wicked have set a trap for me, I won't stray from your precepts. Your laws are my possession forever because they are my heart's joy. I have decided to keep your statutes forever, every last one. Let us pray. Dear God, open my heart to receive your call in whatever forms you send it. Give me the courage to say, here I am. Help me feel your presence as I go to the people and places to which you have sent me. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the prophet Isaiah chapter 2 verses 1 through 4. Listen for God's word. This is what Isaiah, Amos's son, said concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house will be the highest of all mountains. It will be lifted above the hills. People will stream to it. Many nations will go and say, come, let's go up to the Lord's mountain, to the house of Jacob's God, so that he may teach us his ways and we may walk in God's paths. Instruction will come from Zion, the Lord's word from Jerusalem. God will judge between the nations and settle disputes of mighty nations. They will beat their swords into iron plows and their spears into pruning tools. Nation will not take up sword against nation. They will no longer learn how to make war. Isaiah prophesies of a time when there will be no more war. What do you think it will take to get us there? Our New Testament reading today comes from the Gospel according to John, chapter 12, verses 44 through 50. Listen again for God's word. Jesus shouted, Whoever believes in me doesn't believe in me, but in the one who sent me. Whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I have come as a light to the world so that everyone who believes in me won't live in darkness. If people hear my words and don't keep them, I don't judge them. I didn't come to judge the world, but to save it. Whoever rejects me and doesn't receive my words will be judged at the last day by the word I have spoken. I don't speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me regarding what I should speak and say. I know that his commandment is eternal life. 
Therefore, whatever I say is just as the Father has said to me. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Jesus reminds us here that he didn't come to judge the world, but to save it. If this is the case, why are so many of his followers so caught up in judgment? Let us pray. Holy God, I lift up all that is broken and weary in my soul, for I know that nothing is too big for you to hold. When the way seems uncertain and I am most at a loss, let all of your goodness in my life be a light by which I may find the way through again. Thank you for loving me fiercely, even at my worst. Rest with me now until the storm recedes. Amen. Friends, may the love of the Holy Triune God, parent, child, and spirit be with you this day and this weekend. I hope you will join us for worship tomorrow, either on Facebook Live or on Zoom, or here later in the day on YouTube. Take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Be well. <music>